Okay, welcome back to part 3 on making Zorin Linux look like Windows 8. So far we have the Metro apps. You want to go to um, Ubuntu Center, Software Center right here. I already have it open to save time. You want a side dock over here on your right. The best one to use, Docky. D-O-C. Here we go. It'll show up. If not, there it goes. I suggest installing it. The finest dock no money can buy. Okay. As this is going to take its sweet ass time to install, and why the meanwhile, while it's doing that, minimize this. Speaking of Ubuntu Center, this is what we're going to do. You make a shortcut. Create shortcut on desktop. Now you have the shortcut. What you want to do, you want to open your home folder. Well, before I'd done that, I should have just um, opened my pictures first then open up the home folder view okay what I did I took a picture of the internet of you know the Metro apps a picture of somebody start on a Windows 8 and I actually use you know photo software to shape and cut out the apps literally make PNGs out of them so if this is going to be the Ubuntu store obviously I would use the Microsoft Store app what you want to do you want to take the shortcut, put it into your home folder view. You want to right click on it, go to properties, and then you go to permission, allow it to be excusable. Then go back into basic. Now, whenever you click on it, it'll open. Then you would go to, put that down here. Here's the Windows 8 Store app the PNG image file I'm just changing you know the icon view basically there we go then you just X out of here and close out of here then you close out of here we'll check that out in a second let me see if Docky has finished okay gotta wait patiently because I'll make Docky do some interesting things too. See, as far as customizing an operating system, you know, like skinning, most proprietary users would say skinning. Linux is a lot different than Microsoft. And um, it just takes time. You have to have patience and the most important thing you have to have and I don't want to stress this enough before you make comments you should really evaluate your your choice of decisions in making these comments by proving your IQ level in other words don't leave a negative comment if you don't have enough imagination don't shoot the messenger because the messenger will shoot you back anyway that's done we'll go get into dock in a second control alt left click here's the Ubuntu store even though I just had the Ubuntu store open I give it one left click and I'll open up the Ubuntu store and bada bing it will say error message but that's just bullshit there's a slight incompatibility just hit the old software when it comes up and it'll be back to normal and you can do a normal search like like usual see not found but if you click on it once you're back in business anywho control alt right click now I go over here 
I type in D O C K Y. Uh, there it goes. Docky. Now I'm going to put a side dock right here. Whenever it decides to pop up. Okay. You hit this. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of this anchor picture, but what the hey. You want to go to. Let's see. First off. I want to put this dock. You know what? Put this dock over here. Can I move it over here like this? I forgot how to use docky to tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Usually I don't use it, but. Alright. I want to move it elsewhere. Drag reposition. I want to drag it over here. It's being a douchebag, actually. Usually I get stumped sometimes. Well, if you did as many crazy, you know, things with these Linux systems, you would be a little off in the head, too. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And I would use a smoke or glass is fine. That's good enough. And there's the side dock. And you can add things to it too. Go back into the settings. Let's see, docklet. Let me see anything of use. Workspace switcher. Yeah, that would that would work, actually. Add. There it is. Workspace switcher. But it's down here. You would want to arrange it. Okay. Anywho, the idea is just to give you, you know, give you a general description idea how it works. Everything is, you know, dropping down to the bottom, but there's got to be a way to make little spacers and stuff like that. And right now, I have a lack of time with this video, so. Okay, I could just do it like that. No? It's being a dildo. You know damn well nothing comes easy in life and people want to make fun of you. Trying to make an effort. When people make their comments, they should realize that I didn't even have to show anyone how to do this. But I, at least I'm generous. Well, you can add things in here. But right now, I just don't feel like to go into detail about this stupid dock anyway. But anyway, anywho, I want to make it where it's auto hide. Fade on hide. Yes. There you go. That's even better. So when you want to get to things and stuff like that, yada yada, you can click on it. Okay, so thanks for watching and hope you enjoy, enjoy this tutorial. Sorry about my speech impediment. Whoever don't like it, screw you, but thanks for watching anyway. And good luck with your new system.